All right, at number three on WABC Swing and Sound Survey, the week of April the 18th, 1961, But I Do by Clarence Frogman Henry off the Argo record label. Argo, a subsidiary of the famed Chess label based in Chicago. Now, Argo was developed or founded in 1955 to help incorporate the recording, the expanding recording activities of Chess jazz artists recorded on this uh, label, but also R&B artists, Etta James and Clarence Frogman Henry recorded on this label. His first hit, uh, I Ain't Got No Home, remember that? Had that frog-like voice, that's how he called himself the Frogman back in 1956. About five years later, four and a half years later, he comes out with But I Do, his biggest hit went to number three or four on Billboard's Hot 100. The song was written by a couple of people, Paul Gayton and Bobby Charles. Bobby Charles, I want to talk about Bobby Charles. His real name was Robert Charles Guthrie, but his professional name was Bobby Charles, so I'll call him Bobby Charles. Bobby Charles wrote two big hit songs. See you later, alligator. He wrote it. He called it later alligator. He recorded it himself. He was the first person to record it in 1955 as later Alligator. Then at the end of 1955, Bill Haley and the Comets got a hold of it, and they called, renamed it See You Later Alligator. It became a huge hit for Bill Haley and the Comets in 1956. They revved up the uh, version of, of later Alligator. They revved it up and... Uh, just became a signature hit, one of the signature hits for Bill Haley and the Comets. He also wrote another signature hit, Bobby Charles did, this time for his idol, Fast Domino. Walking to New Orleans, he wrote that one for Fast Domino. He sang it to Fast Domino. Fast Domino decided to record it, although he made some, he made a few lyrical changes in the song. And uh, Bobby Charles wrote the song, but I do, co-wrote that record. Another big R&B hit under Bobby Charles' belt. Recorded by Clarence Frogman Henry in 1961.